I'll be back, beautiful. Probably my most favorite was with a horse. It was um, to the beloved outlaw. And it was an, an unusual opportunity, again, for me. I'd, I'd grown up with horses, but we didn't have a lot of money. My dad was an actor, a character actor. We, you know, we lived in Topanga Canyon, and I had, like, backyard horses. For Beloved Outlaw, they actually used a stallion, a, a horse that was 18 years old and had been trained as a trick horse by a man named Ralph McCutcheon, who was a brilliant trainer. And so I got to ride this horse in Beloved Outlaw. Women very rarely get to ride stallions anyway. Nobody rides a stallion. They're not welcome at shows. They're not welcome most places. But he was a, a magnificent animal. You're watching The Virginian exclusively on INSP. For more behind the scenes, go to INSP.com. I was far better horseback than I was an actress. And um, he had had a horse named Easter Yoke trained up for him to um, work with in the show. And this is a beautiful example of some strangers a reigning horse, which is a very exciting, wonderful thing for a Western horse to be. And when they shot him on the horse, he looked too big for it. So he let me ride the horse in the show. It was, it was just fabulous. It was like riding a horse from a rodeo. And quick and responsive and and so Jim and I had that in common. You're watching The Virginian exclusively on INSP. For more behind the scenes, go to INSP.com. Keep and when he came back to town, people just hated him. And he had left a wife and a son and they were terrified. It called on different people to confront areas of prejudice. You're the wealthiest man I know, Judge God, and I'm certainly the poorest man you know. Being charitable. You know, when this is over, we're not going to have any place to lay our heads. We've got no family, unless we count you. Resentment, anger. She shouldn't have any part in lives like ours. She's a sweet, happy child. I hope you don't mean he's not good enough for her. I, I think I'll lie down for a while. All that was like touched on in this show, and uh, it was entertaining, of course. <laughs> You're watching The Virginian exclusively on INSP. For more behind. I said, well, what's going on here? I, I, I have to know how I feel. Where is this in the script? And Jim Winmore turned to me and he said, don't worry about it. The music will tell them what's going on. That was great because it really was. It was a long shot, and he was right. I remember when I saw the show, I saw the long shot, and of course there was some very dramatic music playing. We were just four little figures crossing the street. So I felt very humbled by that exchange. You're watching The Virginian exclusively on INSP. Catherine Crawford. Well, she was cast as a girl who I was deeply in love with. It was a very bittersweet poignant love story. Well, at that time, I couldn't stand Catherine Crawford. She has a certain quality. Uh, I couldn't stand to be in the same sound stage with her. Sounds a little sticky to me. I'm of the opinion that she felt exactly the same way about me. Maybe he reminds you of someone. So we would finish a scene and go to the separate corners of the sound stage. Never hardly, hardly had any conversation except what had to do with the actual work. We've since become good friends. I don't have any idea why I didn't like her. I just didn't like her. Besides that, despite that, we did some of the best acting in the show. That's like a busy household with 40 kids running around. 40? Well, I have a few friends. <laughs> and it just goes to show, if you know what you're doing as an actor or as an actress, you can surmount it in that we had these ladies in jeopardy. They were missionary on the way to minister to the Yaqui Indians in Mexico. Well, I tell them that they're just crazy. They're, not, they're, gonna, they're gonna get killed, they're gonna get massacred. There's nothing up there except a band of murdering Yaqui Indians. Don't tell me you're gonna try to bring religion to them. Among other things. We'll camp here for the night as you wish, but in the morning we're going on. Come to the point where they're going anyway, so I decided to take them. Triumph of good over evil. For me, it was just a great dramatic script. I had a lot of fun with it, a lot of, a lot of wonderful lot of memories from it. You're watching The Virginian exclusively on INSP. For more behind the scenes, go to INSP. Worcester rode into the party, called him The Virginian. No name. Now when the man goes into a room, he will say, there's The Virginian over there. Well, he's, he's got an aura of mystery that you don't have to do anything to achieve. People always say, well, what is his name? What is his name? Well, who are you? What's the difference? 
door with a bunch of strangers. This was, everybody wanted to know what his first name was because he was always referred to as the Virginian or Hey Virginian. You can call him the Virginian. Everybody else does. He tried getting a job on a Wyoming cattle ranch with 500,000 acres without a social security number or a name and you'd be out of luck. Not the Virginian. He showed up there and went to work and, and made history. The Virginian, exclusively on INSP. For more behind the scenes. Time piece. And like you, I have a watch. I got a watch. I want another one for it. As they had written him, his family were ambushed and uh, killed in an Indian raid. Have you ever had a dream, a nightmare that keeps coming back to you? He said it might not be his watch. I've got to find out. They explore uh, Stacy's background and his character, and he gets to investigate what really happened. I guess every man has a right to look backward at least once before he goes forward again. I would say that that show probably uh, stands out in my mind. You're watching The Virginian exclusively on INSP. For more behind the scenes, log on to... Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I never seem to watch where I'm going. I'm very happy to meet you. It was one of the first TV shows that Robert Redford ever did. He played an ex-convict that I became very enamored with, and I got to kiss him on the cheek. It was no, no big deal. And I remember my father, Judge Garth, was very upset because I had such a crush on him. He's an ex-convict, he's sullen. That was probably my most favorite episode. That really stands out in my mind. But he was a real cute guy. You're watching The Virginian, exclusively on INSP. I'm Betsy Garth, I'm 15 years old. They just put like a flat base on me. I had no makeup other than a lipstick or whatever and wore a ponytail forever. And I hated that ponytail because I wore it since I was a kid. Good, you already had a dress for well, It's all ribbons and bows and it's really juvenile. That second season, they they kind of put me in dresses and let me grow up a little bit more. You look different. Good, different, or bad, different? I'm not sure. We have to have an opinion. Except for the guest stars. I was the only, uh, the only female in the Always with a bunch of ranch hands. <laughs> You're watching the Virginian. Exclusive.